On the last video where I showed you guys how to install RetroPy into the Raspberry Pi 4, one of you commented me this. Well, you know what, Faris? Let's test it out. The things that you're going to need to do this process are exactly the same as to installing anything else into the Raspberry Pi. Now, for the Raspberry Pi 4, you're going to need, of course, one micro SD card. This is 128 gigabytes. You don't need so big one, but at least 32 gigabytes on it. Of course, the bigger it is your micro SD card, the more games you can have in your system. Now, the Raspberry Pi Model 4. This one is the one with 8 gigabytes of RAM, a Type-C power supply for the Raspberry Pi 4, a micro HDMI to HDMI cable to be able to connect it to your TV or your monitor, and a controller. The keyboard is optional, but it's mostly to connect it to your Wi-Fi to give the password. And that is pretty much it. Let's jump right into the PC, where I'm going to show you how to install and run Batocera in your Raspberry Pi 4. Now, the first step on this tutorial is to go into the Batocera website. Then you want to click into Download, and in here you're going to find all the systems that you are available to download and install Batocera for. You want to scroll down until you find the Batocera Linux for Raspberry Pi. In here you want to choose the Raspberry Pi model that you have. For me, it's the Raspberry Pi 4. And you want to click into the direct link or a torrent file if you prefer to download it in torrent. Once you have done that, you're going to need the Balena Etcher to be able to flash the image into the micro SD card. Now, I just have the Balena Etcher downloaded the Batocera image, and a couple of folders. One of them is with a couple of games for a couple of systems that I have right here. I cannot really tell you where you can find the ROMs from the games, but with a simple Google search, you're going to find everything that you need, and as well as the BIOS. Some emulators, for example, the PlayStation 1, I do believe also the Game Gear, it also comes with a BIOS, and you're going to need it. This BIOS right here is from my PlayStation 1, and as well as the games, I cannot really tell you where to find them, but if you do a Google search, you're going to see everything that you need. Now, what you want to do is to install the Balena HR software by double-clicking into the image. I already have it. When it's done, it's going to get automatically open, and in here, you want to select Flash from File. Select the image that you just downloaded from the Batocera website, click into Open. Now, it's going to ask you to select the target. In here, you want to select the micro SD card that you plug it into your system. Do not select any other hard drive and be really sure that you don't have anything important there because everything will get deleted once you start flashing the system there. Click into Select and now it's so easy as to click Flash. Click into Yes when a prompt comes up. It's going to start flashing the OS of Batocera into your micro SD card. Now you only have to wait until it's done. When it's all done, all that you have to do is to close the Valena Etcher and remove your micro SD card from your system. Now you want to take your micro SD, set it into your Raspberry Pi and connect your Raspberry Pi to your TV and the power, the controllers, everything that you need. Now, when Batocera just start, if you're going to be using a dongle, set up your dongle and turn on your controller. Some controllers that are going to work right out of the gate and other ones you're going to be needing to configure it. And here is how you can configure your controller. You want to press the buttons as they appear on the screen, for example, up, down, left, right. This is the Batocera menu. What we are going to do is to click into the Start button, go into the Settings, and here, of course, is where you can also set up your Wi-Fi, go into Network Settings, and you want to enable the Wi-Fi right here if you want to be connected by Wi-Fi. If you want to make it by cable, you are not going to need this process. And this is something that I prefer right here, better in Batocera as into the RetroPy system, that this also has included a keyboard so you can enter your password without needing to connect an actual keyboard to your system. Once you have your Wi-Fi set up, you're going to notice that you have a couple of games already installed, but I'm going to show you from the PC how you can transfer your games into your Batocera system. Now, to copy your games into your Raspberry Pi, the easiest way is with the File Explorer and Windows. For that, of course, you're going to be needed to be connected on the same network, your computer and the Raspberry Pi. You will have to see the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. When you have it, you want to open your file explorer, and here above in the top, you want to type backlash backlash, follow it by the IP address of your Batocera system. For me, it is 192.168.0.184, and you want to press enter. This is going to ask you to enter the network credentials. The login information, if this prompts you with a login information, you want to set up Pi as the username, and Raspberry as the password. Now you're going to see this folder right here named Share. You want to open it. 
and in here all the folders. You want to click into BIOS if you want to style any additional BIOS. For me, I want to set up here the one for my PlayStation 1. So I want to select the BIOS and move it on there. Now in here, you're going to see one folder called ROMs. Inside of here are all the systems that they are supported by Batocera. I'm going to copy a couple of games in there. For example, you want to go into Dreamcast and copy the games there. Some of them are going to take a little bit longer depending on your internet connection and of course the file size of the game. You have to make sure that you select the correct folder for your system. For example, Game Boy Advance games into the GBA folder or Game Boy Color, GBC, Super Nintendo SNES and so on. I'm going to be transferring a couple of games and then I'm going to show you how they work on the system. Now when you transfer your games into your Raspberry Pi, probably you aren't going to see them here. What you want to do for that is to press the start button, go into game settings and to go into update game list. Click on yes and now you're going to be able to see all the games that you just transferred into your Batocera system. But now they look a little bit boring like this. Let's change this out before testing the games. You want to press start to go inside of the menu, go into scrape right here and in here if you want to use screen scraper you are going to need to make an account on their site. I will add every link in the description down below. If not, you can use any of the other models. I have an account, so I'm going to use Screen Scraper. You can set it into screenshot, box, 2D or 3D, anything that you want will. The ratings, you can also scrape videos. So I want to select this. And underneath here, you're going to need to set your username and password for the site. Once you are done, you want to click into Scrape Now and select all the missing medias and system you want to select all of them. Now you want to click into start. As you can see on the corner right there, it's starting to scrape all the images. You want to wait, this depending on your internet connection and of course how many games you have installed in the system. When it's finally done of scraping, what you have to do is to press once more the start button, go into the game settings and update your games list. Now when you go inside of one of your systems, you're going to be able to see a screenshot of the game and also a video of them. Now, one more thing that you can change and one of the best things about Batocera is the themes that they are available. I'm going to show you a couple of them. Now, to change the theme, you will have to download them. For that, you want to go into updates and downloads and into themes. You have to wait a little bit and there you can see a small preview of the theme itself. As you can see, you have a lot of them to choose from. In my case, I'm going to show one that I really like, the GPI Next Level. So once you are there, you want to select it and it's going to start to download it. When it's done, go back, go into the UI settings and you can change the theme right here. And here you're going to see how this theme looks. You can change all the different themes in there to choose the one that you prefer. So now let's take some games. One thing that I had a little bit of trouble was running PlayStation 1 and Dreamcast games on the RetroPie. Let's test it out in the Batocera. This is my favorite console, the Dreamcast. Let's test it out. And one of my favorite games that is Tokyo Extreme Racer. The game feels really good. I don't see almost no lag. Now, if you want to get out of the game, all that you have to do is to press the hotkey and start at the same time. And you're going to go back into the menu. To finish up the video, what do you guys think? I am sold. I love how this looks. I love that all my ROMs run really smoothly. So thank you very much for recommending me this on the comments. That is pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, my friends, and like always, I see you on the next time. Bye-bye.